Okay, now we're going to do a drug doctor extraction on the living room. Hope it's not too dark to see.
we're going to go ahead and start the video. There's only uh, like a five by six section left at the most anyway. It's nothing. Yeah, it's just this little area here. I've got to we just but, add a little bit of water and finish that. We'll up. shut the video, and if you want, what we'll do is we'll show the, the bucket dump right now. And then we'll turn it, we'll go ahead and turn it off and finish the carpet off camera. It's not going to be that interesting to see the final, we'll show you the final results and that's it. And here's your dirty water. This carpet, this carpet wasn't too bad. I've seen a lot there. Normally, it comes out black. This was someone probably. This carpet's fairly new, is what it is. They only lived here for four months or so, so they didn't have time to get it real dirty by not taking care of it. We'll go ahead and show the rest of it. It's two minutes, and we'll be done. Don't put too much water in there. Uh -huh. You just got a small section. That that's enough. Yeah. All right. We changed our mind and decided to finish the video. But I apologize if the lighting's not good. It's we're in a room that's got so much shade outside. It's hard to get the light, the sun to come in. It is only 11:30 in the morning though, so it's as bright as it's going to get. Now we did some uh, we did some bonnet cleaning on this one too, just to pre-scrub some stains. So what we'll probably do, unless we change our mind, we'll probably make a video showing that and this together as one well, lengthy video. You, I went ahead and did the front door area because that's usually where the dirtiest carpet in the house is at, where they walked in. If you want to get the water out of the rug doctor, you can take it on a porch or something like that outside concrete. If you flip it the tool instead of the carpet, then what it'll do is if you have all the hoses hooked up. It'll run the water out of the bottom through the spray jets, and that's an easy way to empty. If you've got a lot of water, you can just flip it to tools, put it on concrete. If you're sturdy enough, you can stick it in the bathtub or something and just push the button. 
And that automatically pumps water out. You don't have to push the button. Yeah, there's no reason, like, they, like people say, to take the machine outside and have to dump yeah, it over. Yeah, you never have to tip it up. That's ridiculous. Down. You either do when it. When you put it in tool setting, the brush doesn't the brush doesn't turn. All that works is it sprays water out with the, with the pump. And so you can just hook, you leave that all hooked up and you can spray the water out of the ground. Yeah. You can just hold it up a little bit if you want to, and it's not going to hurt the machine at all. But if you have a back porch or something, you can do that. The tool setting is actually an auxiliary setting. Yeah. And, and, and uh, what we normally do in our jobs is if we've got an area that's, you know, where we knew there were some dark stains at, we run the water out of the tank by running over those stains a couple of extra passes. Yeah, but it's easier just to go back to an area and, and, and make a few more passes if you want to empty the water out that way too. But either way you want to do it, but that's all there is to it. Yeah. Um, there were some other parts of this video you might look for where we did the pre-vacuuming and we got a red stain out and uh, some other things like that. And there's going to be some post-vacuuming videos hopefully that we're going to get up here and uh, we'll have to wait till the next day because so it's completely dry. Post-vacuuming and then raking with the Grand Degree carpet rake. So, but keep, uh, keep a watch out for all these videos. They'll all be close together so you should be able to find them. But anyway, that's all for this one. So thanks for watching.